Hello again. In this video, I hope to make the concept of edge orientation crystal clear to all of you so that you can do it to do the ZZ method. So the first thing you have to do when learning to recognize edge orientation is to put on the ZZ goggles. Now, observe this cube very carefully, and I'm going to overlay an image to show you what it looks like to me when I'm looking at it. You'll notice a few things about the way I see the cube. First of all, all the blue and green stickers are grayed out, so I can't see these two and, or these. Um, and of course, I can't see corners either because um, we're only looking at edges and how they're related to centers. Um, lastly, uh, I see um, red and orange as the same color and also white and yellow. So I don't distinguish between those two colors. But I do distinguish, however, between white and red because they are not similar colors. So de to determine the orientation of an edge, you first look at the edge and find the sticker on it, which is not blue or green. So for this edge, we'll look at this sticker. Next, you find the center next to the edge, which is not blue or green either. So here, this is blue, so we can't look at it. So we have to look at this uh, white center. So we're going to look at these two stickers. Um, from here, there are four different cases you can have, and they'll be listed in the following diagram. Okay, so you'll notice two things about the diagrams. Uh, first of all, we have to look at whether the sticker on the edge is adjacent to the center or whether it's not. And secondly, we have to look at whether the two colors are similar. That is, whether they're the same or whether they're um, on opposite ends of the cube. These two factors can be thought of as positive and negative. If the um, edge sticker is adjacent to the center, that's positive. But it's not, if it's not, then that's negative. And if the colors are similar, then that's positive. And if they're not, that's negative. And to determine whether the edge is good or bad, we multiply those two numbers together, and if it's positive, then it's good. If it's negative, then it's bad. For instance, for this um, edge here, we can look at um, this center here, because it's not blue or green, and we can look at this sticker, because it's not blue or green. And these two are not similar. That's a negative, and they are adjacent, so that's positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. So we know that this edge is bad. Another example is um, here. These two stickers are adjacent. That's positive. And they are similar. That is also positive. Positive times positive is positive. So we know it's good. Um, here's another example. We have not adjacent. That's negative. Times not similar. That's negative as well. That gives us a negative times a negative. A double negative makes a positive. So that's good. This edge is good. <coughs> uh, lastly, we'll look at this one. These two are not adjacent. That's a negative. And these are similar, so that's positive. Positive times negative is negative. So this is a bad edge. OK, so now that we can identify the bad edges, we can also convert them. So I'm going to convert all the bad edges to good now. So for my last video, you should have learned that each time you turn the top or the bottom, all the bad edges become good, and all the good edges become bad. So by looking at this edge, uh, we can look at these two stickers, and we see that we have um, positive because they're adjacent, and negative because they're not the similar colors. So this is a bad edge, we know for sure. So if we do a quarter turn, this edge now becomes good. And if we do another quarter turn, it becomes bad again. So I'll just uh, show you. It's bad right now, we can see. 
and now since we did the quarter turn it's good because we have positive times positive because they're similar and they're adjacent so that's good <clears throat> when we do it again it's bad it is bad again so we can take advantage of this um, feature to uh, convert all the bad edges to good but we have to make sure that in the process we don't make more bad edges because we don't want that. <clears throat> okay, so first you have to find two edges that are bad. You can see here this edge is bad because we have similar colors times not adjacent is negative so that's bad. And here um, we have not similar and adjacent that's also bad. Eventually you'll be able to instantaneously um, determine whether bad it, an edge is bad or good but for now, I'm going to go over the formula system so that you can use it for um, while you're solving as a beginner. So <clears throat> the way we want to convert these two bad edges is by taking advantage of the top turns or bottom turns. So um, what I want to do first is to convert the bad edge, the top bad edge, and that messes up these three on the top, uh, but this one's now good. Uh, the second thing we want to do is we want to replace this good edge, the one that we just converted, with the bad edge. And when we turn the top face back, all of the three edges in the top that we messed up now are fixed. And the one that we, the bad edge that we just um, placed in that slot now becomes good. So we can see um, positive times positive is good and negative times negative is good. I'll just keep doing this so you can see some more examples. We have um, positive times negative is bad. This is bad as well. So <clears throat> we need to make it uh, arrange them in such a way that we can replace one after turning the top face. I'll just show you. So um, if we try to um, put one of them in the top face and then turn the top face, we can't replace um, this edge with this one. So we have to put them in a different configuration. So now they're here and here. If I turn the top face now to make this one good, I can easily replace it with the other one. So now this bad one, if I turn the top face back, it also becomes good. Okay, so I see this one here is bad because we have adjacent times not similar. And we have this one here is also bad because we have not adjacent and similar. So <clears throat> these are in a configuration in which we can replace um, this one with this one after we turn the bottom. So we turn the bottom, that makes this good. We replace this one with this one, and then we turn the bottom back. So now they're both good. And I can't find any other ones that are bad, so that means we finished the edge orientation. Um, I hope this video was helpful to people who needed it, and thanks for watching.